So yes, indeed, I did buy another mower. Do I need any more mowers? No. Is my shed getting extremely full? Yes, it is. Uh, to be honest with you though, I'm just curious on getting a seven blade instead of the five blades. So what's been happening with my Greenworks mower is just that with only having five blades and it can only spin so fast when I'm walking, I'm getting some of that wavy look, some of the rifling, I believe that it's actually called. So really what I wanted to do was try out a seven blade, see if I make any difference with that and it was delivered today so I'm gonna kinda give this thing a test drive, give you some ideas on some of these cheaper reel mowers if they're any good for you or would be a good option of starting out if you're getting into reel mowing or you want to try reel mowing and honestly there is no better cut that you can get on a reel mower. A lot of people have been complaining that some of these reel mowers cost so much and for powered ones that's absolutely true but if you're willing to do some walking and you're willing to keep up with it and you have the time to do that then I want to show that these are actually a legitimate option and maybe the seven blade will be even better than what I had before. Alright so here's where I stand. I was reading the manual and I'm terrible at reading manuals because I'm such a visual learning person so most of the time I read these manuals I have no idea what I'm doing so I usually ask my wife and say what does this mean and she does sort of the translation for me but today I called my good friend John Perry because he has a mower just like this and I said how do I get this thing to cut at a half an inch because the manual says it cuts at a half an inch but I'm measuring here on the lowest setting and it's not close to half an inch and then I read the manual again and it said you had to take apart the wheels and actually move them to a different position. So I'm like, uh, this is just um, kind of not that fun really at this point when you get a new product. So that's what I'm going to do now is try to get this thing to cut at a half an inch. Okay, so I've got the roller popped off of here, off the back of there. That part is done. And then I need to take this piece off. Okay, so here's what you need to do. Essentially, when I got this out of the box, you can see it was down on this setting right here. So you have to loosen that. The outside is a 13 millimeter. This one is a 17 millimeter, I believe, but I was just using a crescent wrench because I didn't have anything handy. So move that to this top position and that will give you a much lower height of cut. Now I'm going to measure what it's at without the roller on it. So I really can't get a fantastic shot of that, but it is at a, just right at a half an inch. I think I'll put the roller back on here and just see what sort of setting we get. I'd like to be at about an inch on the bluegrass backyard. I've been cutting with the greenworks at an inch, so I'd like to stay there. So let's put this roller back on. This whole system here is not nearly as nice as the greenworks either. Exactly. All right, so the roller's on, still sitting right at a half an inch, maybe even slightly lower than that. So I'm gonna go try it on the side yard, see how it cuts. So first observations here, I would say it's definitely quieter than my Greenworks and the cut quality is great. I'm still noticing just a slight amount of that washboarding and that's just because I cannot get the reel spinning as fast as a powered reel or a powered machine would be and that's just sort of the nature of it, especially when you have a really thick turf like I already have here. As far as cut goes, it looks great. The only thing that I don't like about this compared to the Greenworks model is one, it's not easy to change the height. It should be easy, but 
because I'm not finding it to be extremely easy just because the Greenworks one is sort of just a pop out a little thing, move the roller, pop it back in, works perfectly on this one. Also, I feel like the balance is more towards the front. And so actually when you're driving, it feels like the back roller is just bouncing around a lot. Now on the Greenworks, it feels like things are sort of tilted back more onto the roller. So I like that better so far. I'm gonna mow this whole section over here on the side and then give you a look at what it looks like after that. So I don't want to give you the impression that it doesn't look nice at all or that this isn't worth it because considering the price of these machines and the fact that honestly as long as you're mowing frequently enough, they're not really difficult to use. You get a slight workout of course, but I like that. I prefer it. So it's still a good option to try out if you want to try real mowing and you don't want to put a whole lot of investment into it right at the beginning. So if that was a half, let's find out what the next setting is. See, here's the problem is that right here, this hits on that roller, so it's not really easy to get in and out of there. The second setting is not bad. So that looks like three quarters of an inch. So we're on the highest setting of the actual plastic piece here. So that is right at an inch. So it looks like these right here go into quarter inch settings. So I was at half an inch on the lowest, bumped it up to the middle. That was three quarters and then the top piece right there is an inch. If you wanted to go higher, then you start using these actual settings here on the mower right there to go higher than that. And you can also adjust it higher again by moving this wheel. So I think this is going to be good though at an inch, so I'll give this a try. Alright, well actually I think that that worked pretty well. I'm not really seeing any waviness on my backyard as long as I keep up with cutting it at this height I think it should be fine. I'm enjoying this whole manual thing. There's obviously not really any stripes. It is kind of a different look that I'm um, not really used to. But I do sort of also like that flat look of the lawn too when it's nice and clean cut. So there it is all cut nice and clean. We're just sort of ramping up into spring here. It's really not even hit completely so this thing's gonna start growing crazier than, I, uh, than I'm anticipating I'm sure. But I did put some iron on it last night. So thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time.